Welcome back to Humankind Open Dev, and this is going to be the final scenario from the looks of it. This time we will be the defenders. And it looks like this is going to be a big one. 60 minutes completion time estimation. Okay then, let's do it! Here we are, our objective is to hold the fort. We are playing in medieval era. 19 turns, okay. That's going to be a big one then. Interesting. We can actually do something. Or can we? We have the city. Looks like we can actually queue something up. We already have the longbowmen queued up. I thought we'll go straight into battle, but apparently not. Interesting. Okay, yeah, this is going to be a long one. Turn 120. Let's see what we actually have. We got two longbowmen. What else? Down here? What's this? I thought that's a unit, but it's not. That's just a horse's deposit. Okay. We don't actually have it that many units. We got some over here, some knights. Let's maybe move in this direction. We can actually attack right away if we want to. Might not be a bad idea. Seeing how we'll have to fight anyway. We have a fort over here. Okay. We got pikemen and a more longbowmen. Right. So let's merge these guys into a single unit. And right, I guess we can't move quite enough. What about these guys? Can't really move enough either. Yeah, let's move into one territory. That way, if they attack us here, we should be able to use both the units. And I think that's pretty much all we can do. We already have a longbowman queued up in here. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. What? Claim territory? This is our territory. What are you talking about? No, I do not want to attack anyone. Alright, let's see what's going to happen now. They are coming. 19 turns though, yeah, this is going to be way longer than I thought it will be. I thought it will be just like one siege. Okay, they are sieging apparently. Now we can attack them. They are a little bit spread out. So I guess that's our chance. Right here. Oh, I can't attack them anymore, what? Yeah, I can. Right here. We can attempt to break the siege. So let's do that, shall we? We are stronger, way stronger than this particular unit. So I don't think this is going to be a problem. Let's see, these are just peasants defending the city. Here are some more units, some actual proper That's units. We got knights and we also have nope. longbowmen right here. No. There you go. Okay, this looks reasonable. I'm not sure why they attacked with like literally two dudes. Jaguar Warriors. <laughs> okay, that looks familiar. They are fairly strong as well. Okay, plus six from fortification. Let's use our archers first. So maybe on the non-fortified guys. Oh, three cover, plus four. So there's no real difference. They will both have exact same combat strength. And now we could attack them aggressively. Let's attack them with some peasants maybe. And then with knights. These peasants are not that bad. They got 27 combat strength. 
Here, that's much better. We also got plus one bonus from quarters. Plus three from charge. One down. Yeah, this particular fight should be pretty easy. Now, if I attack this guy, I will get the penalty for crossing the river. Unless I attack him from a different direction. Like this. Now we don't have the penalty because there's no river over here. This one will be a little bit harder to kill, but that's alright. We can just throw some peasants at him. This is a very suboptimal way to attack because we get a penalty. Yeah, actually let's not attack because he will die if I do that. So now he will get high ground. I will not be attacking yet. We can move over here on the next turn and then attack. Yeah, this is actually fine, but we'll have to wait for the next turn. Uh, no, we don't, just end the round. So now we can move. No more penalty, or rather, no more high ground bonus for them. And this will take care of it. Done? Done. So we broke the siege. To be fair, it wasn't much of a siege. <laughs> it was like two dots. Alright, now, what about these guys? Let's see, first let's actually merge. Oh, hold on, I have to go through here or what? I actually have to go through here. Because of this cliff. We can't just march down that cliff. Okay, okay. I guess that means I can't really stay inside that fort. Onward. Well, let's see, maybe they will attack us. If not, I'll just chase them. I assume they will have to wait a few turns to actually set up the siege. You know, to build some actual siege engines and such. They don't just magically appear. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So let's keep moving. I'm not quite close enough to attack, am I? Yes, we can attack. Uh, let's do that. We should be able to win this one. And it's best to attack them while they are split up. We don't want to fight all of them at the same time. That is not a good idea. Now, if we stand over here, we will block the way and we will still have the high ground. So that looks reasonable. And we'll shoot them with some archers. Yeah, this should be pretty easy, actually. The knights are fairly strong, but that's okay. There are more of us. And I'll just stay right here. Yep. Oh wait, but I also have one more dude to the west. Whoops. And another one. I totally missed these guys. My bad. <laughs> okay, I totally missed them. Let's see. And that might get a little bit more complicated. Since I lost one archer. We should still be able to win. At least I think so. Maybe. Maybe not. The horsemen run away for some reason. Yeah, let's not attack with that pikeman right now. Just end the round. I might actually lose this one. Because I got flanked. Well, that was a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I'll probably lose this one. They are stronger than I am. With 35 combat straight. I mean, it's fine. We did some damage. Okay, now the horseman is coming back. Can we at least kill the horseman, or rather the knight? Yes, we can! So, that wasn't entirely a waste. We killed the knight and we did some decent damage. Could have been better, but it's fine. Okay, let's break this siege. And yeah, I just didn't notice that cliff on the first turn. Because 
what you should have done, or what I should have done, was just take this group from inside the fort and start moving in this direction immediately. But it's okay, let's continue, shall we? So, let's break this siege. Yeah, we are way stronger than this guy, but I assume they have a lot more units coming. Probably. I mean, there are 17 more turns. It feels like this will be longer than 60 minutes. But I suppose we'll find out. Let's move peasants to the back, archers to the front, and the knights to the front. Maybe not the wounded one. I would prefer if he stayed alive. Alright. So, what's our range on the longbowman? Four tile range. So, this is perfect. Let them come to us. Yep. He will attack the longbowman, but he won't do enough damage to kill him. And now I can attack with everything. Let's maybe move to the back. Just in case I fail to kill him, which I actually might. If I attack like this, I will be attacking from the low ground. So that might not be the best idea. Let's move around and then we will have the high ground. Like that. He's down. Rather, he's about to be. There it is. They got more, don't they? Yeah? Apparently. Hey, let's just wait for them. Are they coming or what? I guess we can just move and capture the flag. Oh yeah, there he is. How sneaky. Not quite sure what he's doing over there. I guess he's just chilling. Maybe he saw what happened to his friend and he doesn't want to share his fate. Well, I got some bad news for you, buddy. Now he will attack, as you might expect. So let's back up with that fella and move in with the peasants. They are weaker, but they got full strength. Or rather, full health. The longbowmen are pretty damn good. Is this enough? Uh, not quite, no. Now we can finish the job. Uh, the battle will continue on the next turn. Okay, fine. So be it. 16 more turns. Now he's dead. Okay. And no construction in progress anymore, so let's queue up some longbowmen. Yeah, I think I prefer longbowmen here. These guys seem to be pretty damn good. As long as we can keep them alive. Which hopefully we will be able to. Okay, longbowmen. So let them be stay here. It's not exactly safe to send one single longbowman on his own. Oh yeah, now we are under siege. Right. I don't think I will be sending help, although maybe I should. We will lose some production capability if we lose that. We are under siege in London again. Okay, okay. I didn't even get a chance to like kill myself or something. Let's keep the one that you need in the back. Okay, this looks reasonable. We need to keep the archers safe. Whoops, they are on this side. Right. They also got some fortification. Well then. Let's do some damage. And they will have a bonus because of building cover. But we'll still do some damage. 
Let's use some peasants as cannon fodder. Now, they won't do amazing damage. I can actually just stand over here instead of attacking, because if I attack, I will lose like 80% of my health on the peasants. So instead, they can act as a roadblock to prevent access to our archers. Or rather, longbowmen. Yeah, attacking from this side seems fine. We will lose significant amount of health though. Which is maybe not the best. He will almost die. He might actually die. And I'm not close enough to close this gap. The main problem is the river crossing. I can attack from this direction. But that will leave my long woman a little bit too exposed. Still, this way I will avoid the river crossing penalty. And we did kill him. Unfortunately, I'm not close enough to walk into that fort myself. Well, I can do it with my knight. But then he will get killed. He will probably get killed. I mean, actually, no, he might not. Let's walk into that fort then. I assume they will focus on him. No, they will focus on this guy. Yeah, we are fine. Let's back up. So I need my long moment closer. One more shot. These guys are quite resistant to ranged attacks. Doesn't mean I want to use ranged attacks. <laughs> okay, this is good. I assume some of the peasants will die, which is totally fine. They are expendable, okay? There we go, one more left. But I'll need to heal up the knights a little bit. We lost a lot of health on them. So let's attack from the high ground if we can, right here. First, let's use the longbowman. This might be blocked, as in line of sight might be blocked. We can also claim the flag, right here. So we can do that. Then take a shot. I can still take a shot from here, actually, which is slightly surprising. I thought that this mountain will block line of fire, but apparently it did not. Yeah, end of the round. He will attack one of the peasants, which is fine, and then we can finish him off with a longbowman. Done. Now, I have no idea how many more units they will send. Perhaps they will keep sending units for the next 16 turns? I don't know. First time I'm playing this scenario. I have not played it off camera or anything like that. So, yeah, hold on. Let's maybe merge these. Can they move? Not anymore, they can't. Yeah, no, this guy can move. Come on. Oh, this slot is actually locked. Requires new technologies, right. Never mind then. So you can just wait. They are coming. They got elephants. Yeah, that looks unpleasant. And here's another siege. I feel like they will just keep sending units for the next 15 turns. I will probably lose this city right here. This is too many dudes. I will not be able to send reinforcements. I let them siege. That will waste some of their time. Okay, well, let's break that siege again. Works for me. Oh, you guys. Are they outside of the 
battlefield. No, that's all we have here. No, hold on, I'm confused. Yeah, we got more. They were just like outside or something. Right, hold on, hold on. I need to be careful about the longbowmen, but I definitely want to use them. They got crossbowmen. Yeah, okay, that looks very, very dangerous. Yeah. Okay, that looks way more dangerous. And I can't kill them easily, as you can see. They got fortification. Well then... Let's just move closer, take a few shots, do as much damage as we can. There's a good chance I will lose some of the wounded units. I lose them sooner or later. At least I assume I lose them sooner or later. Now, see, I don't want to let the knights drop too much. Let's use the one with green health. And I think I'll keep the others in the back. Oh, we could grab the flag over here. I don't know if there are any units that will protect it. Doesn't look like it. I'm not seeing anything, so we can grab that. Let's just end our round right now. Okay, another crossbowman. So they got two crossbowmen from the looks of it. We'll grab the flag. And we can attack from the high ground. Nice. First, let's take some shots. Preferably at this guy. The guy with fortification. We need more shots to take him down. I don't really want to attack with peasants because, as you can see, they will lose a lot of health. I'm mostly using them as, like, extra targets and roadblocks. Not for their actual damage. Their actual damage is not very impressive. I can't attack here anymore, actually. Uh, yeah, this looks fine. That's a lot of damage. I actually cannot attack from here because, yeah, the elevation difference is too great. You can't always tell. I suppose this one could have been fairly obvious, but you can't always tell which tile has too big of a difference, and which one does not. Let's attack now. I lost some health, but he will not be able to shoot me anymore. Yeah, look at the strength difference, it's actually huge. 15 more turns. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, okay. The elephant is coming. Yeah, I will definitely lose this siege over here. Right now, I'm mostly concerned about the defending London, as we should be. Onward. I can't move with these anymore, I just have to end the turn. On the lookout. Oh yeah, more longbowmen. I can't actually train any more knights. We could get pikemen, we could get swordsmen. The pikemen aren't too bad. We could grab one. Okay, let's grab one pikeman. Yep, more incoming. So now we got two sieges going on. At least it looks that way, or is that guy not sieging yet? Well, regardless, let's break the siege. I do not like that elephant, though. You know, I'm just saying. Yes, confirm. So, okay, we did regain a lot of health, that's nice. Yeah, have to deploy the other units separately because they were technically, like, out of range. Okay, so what's going on with that elephant? 
42 combat strength. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a little bit much. That is a little bit much. We'll kill the great swordsman first. Is that like a veteran or something? Not sure what that star is. Yeah. He's getting plus one bonus from veterancy. But I really don't like that elephant at all. Not even one bit. Well then. Yeah, that's a ranged unit. Okay, that's going to be nasty. I have a bad feeling about that one. A really bad feeling. If I attack him like this, I will just die. Without doing, like, any damage whatsoever. Okay, let's just move forward with some peasants to give him extra targets. And then I'll just try to do as much damage as I can with my longbowman. And hopefully it will work. I don't know if it will work. It will have to. Here we go. I assume he cannot use like building cover because, you know, it's elephants. Would be pretty hard to use cover. I'm just saying. Yeah, see? And we got another veteran unit coming. Okay, he is already wounded. Because that's the guy from the fight that I lost earlier. So let's take care of him really quick. Then we'll go back to fighting the elephant. I almost lost that peasant, so let's leave that peasant there. You know, just so that he can act as an extra target. But I think I'll use the knight because I could really use his damage here. Yeah, let's use the knight. That will take care of it. Move away slightly. Well, that's it, I think. Not gonna happen. Sorry. No. That should be just the elephant left at this point. At least I'm pretty sure that's just that the elephant left. Okay. okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, no, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. All right, all right. Back up. Yeah, you guys just get the heck out of here. And shoot that elephant. Come on. More damage. We'll probably need more than one turn for this one. I'm not attacking with the knight. Absolutely not. But the knight should really be where the peasants are at the moment. Let's back up slightly with that knight, because I'm standing on top of the river. And I would rather not do that. Yeah, he's targeting my crossbowman. Oh, that's dirty. I mean, longbowman. I can't prevent him from doing that. His range is greater than mine, I'm afraid. And he is still using building cover. How the heck do you use a building cover? With a huge-ass elephant. Apparently you do! All right. Yeah, see, if I attack like this... That wouldn't be the worst thing ever, but I'll take significant damage. And I'm trying to, like, not let my knights die too early. I can't get more, as you saw. I don't have the resources for it. Minus two from heavily damaged on him. Yeah, not yet, but we don't get the penalty for crossing the river. Okay, this is good. I don't mind him targeting the peasants, that's totally fine. I hope they don't have too many elephants, because if I have to fight several of these guys at the same time, I'm probably going to lose. And we are already 30 minutes in. 
And that this is supposed to be a 60 minute scenario? I don't know about that. And here's the other siege, that's Jaguar Warriors. Well then, let's take care of that. Not that I really have much of a choice. Okay then. Yeah, this one awkward tile is kind of weird. I'm not totally sure what's up with that. That's supposed to be mine. Or is it? It's outside of this particular region. I can't tell what's up with this tile. It's a little bit weird. I can't deploy there though. It's outside of the deployment zone. Anyway. Let's see. Let's grab everything we have. So peasants slightly in the back. Longbowmen in the front. And the wounded ones can be like slightly more in the back. I need them to not die. We got one a knight almost at full health. Okay, this looks fine. Can we deploy on this tile? Uh, yes, we can actually. So how about like this? All right, looks good. Let's go. So first, let's try to kill this guy and take the fortification ourselves. That would be the general idea. This time it's not the Jaguar Warriors, it's just pikemen. However, attacking pikemen with knights might not be the best idea of all times, you know? Just a guess. He's already dead. So let's move in. Plus 8 against cavalry. Okay, no. Let's just move in with peasants. Peasants are weaker, but the pikemen will not get a plus 8 bonus against peasants. Yeah, plus 8 is nasty. I'm not dealing with that. Here. Now he cannot attack any of our knights. We'll just shoot him. Yeah, there is a third one. That's also a pikeman. Free cover. Okay. Well, that's not going to help him. Where are you seeing trees? <laughs> I'm not seeing any. I can tell you as much. Let the peasants do some work here. There we go. I might be able to kill both right now. Fire! Yep. Done. Nice. Okay then. How's our production queue? We got the pikeman. So he should be right here, and he is. So I'm thinking more longbowmen. Yeah, another long moment. That's two turns. What's going on with that other siege? Uh, yeah, waiting for confirmation. So now I have to fight. Let's fight. I will lose this one. That's pretty much guaranteed. But maybe we can do some decent damage before we lose. I'll try to do some damage. Just don't get your hopes up too much. I got literally one peasant and two long moments. So, yeah, and they will go first because they are the ones initiating the attack. Will we even get a chance to do some damage? Yeah, not much. So, Jaguar Warriors. We'll do the most damage to these guys right now. But that's pretty much the fight. That was the siege. Well then. Okay. I'm not seeing any more elephants right now, so that's good. Great swordsman. Yeah, they are sending a lot of units. The game ends in 13 turns. I feel like this is going to be longer than one hour, but... Okay. Well, that's our turn. Can we go for like one turn without a new siege setting up? 
because I would like to move the ceiling right here, but I can't when a siege begins. Yeah, like right now. Now we have to fight. All right, all right. Let us fight. Oh, same as usual. We got the veterancy bonus. Nice. It's not a huge bonus, but hey, every bonus helps. Yeah, I'll have to deploy the other units separately because they are technically outside of the city. So that's why I wanted to move them, but I cannot move them once the city is under siege. I can still deploy them, so it's fine. It's just that they have to deploy from that one specific tile. Okay, let's get started. So it's best if we shoot this guy because he will not get the bonus from the high ground. I might have to back up slightly. I don't want the knights to attack the longbowmen directly, obviously. Yeah, let them attack us. Rather than other way around. Still got some longbowmen here. Yeah, we can actually move up slightly. This terrain is a little bit weird. You will have the high ground. I'm just going to stand here to kind of block the way. Because I want to protect my crossbowmen. No, we can't do that. Okay, it should be safe to stand over here. I really don't want to lose the guy with veterancy. Let's shoot this fella. This might have been a mistake. He could technically go around and attack my longbowmen. That would be bad. I can't move anything anymore. Uh, actually, I can, but I can't move this guy because he's also protecting like this area. So that's not happening. Okay, yeah, he's attacking the peasant, which is fine. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. This will be a tougher fight. They got several knights. And not only they are strong, they are also fast. I have a bad feeling about this. I need to reposition my longbowmen. Yeah, we need to move into the city. Otherwise, I will probably lose them. Let's focus fire the wounded guy. Okay, decent. I could probably kill him, but that would involve basically sacrificing something. We don't have the pikemen, and I'm glad we do. He will do significant damage. Unfortunately, I only have one pikeman. I wish I had more than that, but alas, I do not. That's basically our turn. I don't really want to move from here. Because this gives us a bonus. I do not want to lose that bonus. We are going to need it. Okay. Alright, let's go, people. I think we should get more pikemen after this. Looks like that will be very helpful. If they have more knights or more elephants. I assume a pikeman will also get a bonus against elephants. It's a pretty damn big bonus, plus 8. That's a huge bonus, as far as I can tell. Most other bonuses are way lower. It's like plus 1, minus 1, minus 2, plus 3. Plus 4 is just about the biggest bonus from flanking. But yeah, plus 8 is so far the biggest bonus I've seen from any one single modifier. Okay, yeah, we can attack this fella. Just to not give him a chance to attack the target of his choice. There, broke the siege. I assume more are coming. More. They are coming pretty much constantly at this point. We will get a long moment on the next turn. And then we need pikemen. But yes, that's our turn. 
the game ends in 11. Yep, more coming, as you might expect. It seems like they will be coming, basically, constantly. At least they are not smart enough to, like, wait for all of them to gather around our city, because I would have no chance then. I would just lose if they attacked all at once. Okay, then. That looks fine. So, great swordsman. Let's stand over here. We got the veterans bonus on the knights. Nice one. I definitely need to keep all of these units alive for the bonus. Easier said than done sometimes. They will move towards us because these are melee. We got more coming from this direction. It would probably be better to just stand inside the city. I don't see any ranged units right now. Out of range here. Okay, I guess that's it. I need them to move closer. So let them move closer. This right here is a pretty nice spot for defense, though. Oh, they didn't do a whole lot, really? They didn't move their actual melee units, which is slightly surprising. Okay, I can just shoot them in that case. One down. We are in range over here. There you go. If they decide to just stay there, we'll just keep shooting them. Yeah, I don't really want to attack with the knights. I guess we could attack like this if we really want to. That's a plus three bonus from charge. But maybe not yet. We can maybe do that on the next turn. Yep, he's still not moving. That's a bit weird. I don't know why, but... Hey, whatever. I certainly don't mind. That makes our life easier. Make some space, thanks. Alright, let's move closer here. I mean, this would normally be a decent strategy for them if it wasn't for all the longbowmen that we have. However, eventually we run out of time and we'll have to wait for the next turn. And they do have more incoming. So how about we kill that great swordsman with a knight? He's not quite dead yet. Now he will be. Okay, that leaves us with one. We can't do that now. That's our turn. Now he's moving. Okay, now he attacked my crossbowman. Okay, okay. He was waiting for the opening. Too bad for him. Are you dead yet? Yeah, that was maybe not the best idea, but I want to finish him off right now. He's dead. Okay, yeah, we got a lot more incoming. Let's maybe get a pikeman now. Sounds good to me. A pikeman won't hurt. But again, I can't move because they are out of actions. And we'll get another siege on the next turn. <laughs> Looks like I will not be able to move this unit, like, for the rest of this scenario. And we are already 45 minutes in. And we got 10 more turns. So we are, like, roughly halfway through. Halfway through in terms of number of turns. Yeah, okay, that is a larger army right there. Crossbowmen. Four crossbowmen in a single unit. Now we can move. So let's move back into our city here. There we go. Okay, uh, next up, another pikeman, I think. 
Maybe not. They only got two knights. Let's get more longbowmen. Longbowmen are really nice here. Oh, I can't anymore. Uh, oh, whoops. Spawn location is full. My bad. Okay. There. You happy? Now we have to start a third unit. Because they can't have more than five currently. So, more longbowmen. I think that's the best option. Yeah, more longbowmen. I feel like this is like the whole point of this scenario. To use longbowmen for defense. Well, that's it then. So, you guys wait. Bring it on. So now we can break the siege. We don't have to. But if I wait, they will get a chance to build trebuchets. And more units will join them. Which is clearly not something we want, you know? Oh, I probably should have turned this into a stronghold. Or a city. Yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> We do have a 915. Might be a little bit late now, but... Returns for city creation? Would a stronghold be better? It increases the range by 2 for ranged units standing on it. But then I will have to protect them. And it's a little bit far away from London. Oh yeah, I can place it wherever I want to. So how about here? That's kind of a high ground. It has to be outside of the actual city. So yeah, this spot seems pretty nice for that. There it is. I should have done that earlier. But hey, better late than never, right? Okay, let's break that siege before they get any trebuchets. We got quite a lot of units now. But they are also sending more. Okay, we need a ranged unit on this tile. So... They will be slightly exposed, so let's send a non-veteran. Peasant over here. They are all coming from the west. This looks fine. We do have a lot of defenses now. Okay, so they got crossbowmen. Let's see. They will both get the same exact defensive bonus. As in, it's technically a different bonus, but the value is the same. So... Well... Doesn't really make a difference which one we attack. This guy. Unfortunately, I can't flank him because of this cliff. Can't attack him from this direction. Unless it's with a ranged unit. But that would make it relatively safe to just keep one ranged unit up here. But that wouldn't really make a big difference compared to my current deployment. Uh, that's not quite what I was looking for. I thought I clicked on the long moment back here. But that wasn't the worst thing ever, actually. Okay, that's all the ranged we had. I could almost kill him with a knight. I won't lose too much health, so let's just do it. I can actually finish him off. Let's do that. They do have more crossbowmen. There, now we can actually use that tile ourselves. We'll move into it. We can still attack this guy, but that might not be the best idea now. Sorry. Next. You know, if this is like another 40 minutes, I might have to split this into two separate videos, I don't know. I don't know how much longer it's going to be. 
If we are only halfway through, I might actually split this into two episodes. But let's take care of this siege first. Okay, that was a nice one. Finish him off with peasants. Eh. Finish him off with knights. We'll barely lose any health on the knights like this. Yep, as you can see. That can't be done. That's not possible. Another crossbowman. Yeah, this is really good damage right there. I can't quite finish him off right now, but we did good damage on this turn. Next round. He will be dead on the next round. Yep, you're going down, buddy. Done. Okay, more incoming. Yeah, this is a lot. Okay. Yep, another one. Well, let's do it. That's going to be all of them. Hold on, 400 strength. I mean, I'm doing it regardless. I will not let them get any chevauchets. That would be really bad. Let's see. So this will be mostly Jaguar Warriors, from the looks of it. So, there's no possible way up here. I guess it's actually a good idea to send some ranged unit here and attack from the top of that cliff. It seems safe, unless they have some kind of range, but they didn't seem to. I'm going to keep the veteran longwoman closer to the city, though. So that's almost all of them now. Okay, fine. So two longwomen over here and the rest of them will be near the city itself. With some protection in the front. So since they only have melee here, at least I think so, it might be best to just fortify and wait. Unless they choose to wait on themselves, but then we should be able to just keep firing. We'll see what they decide to do. Yeah, this is a lot of dudes. It's all melee, no ranged. Okay. Well, in that case, let's get started. Yeah, this tile should be reserved for a ranged, like this fella. Because that's a bonus. Yeah, standing over here makes me a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. But they cannot go up this cliff, they just can't. It just feels a bit awkward, you know? Yeah, they can't possibly go up here. You can't. The cliff is, like, too much. But it still makes me a bit nervous. <laughs> okay, how about we finish off that one Jaguar warrior? It might be fine to just throw away one peasant. I don't know. Let's not throw anything away just yet. We'll just take a shot here. Done. And let them come to us, it's fine. Assuming they will actually move. Oh, they do have one crossbowman, okay, okay. I need to take care of that crossbowman then. They only have one, however, and I got like six longbowmen. And since this stronghold extends our range by two, I can actually shoot the crossbowman. Look at that. That's a total of plus six bonus as well. So 38 versus 31. Yeah, these bonuses are a pretty big deal. And he's dead. Nice. Very nice. Uh, actually, firing at that guy might not have been the best because of his bonuses. 
but he's in range of my other longbowman. Therefore, we can kind of focus fire him. I'm just going to keep my defensive position. I see no reason to move. No, they are not moving. Okay. I'm still not going to rush them. We are more than fine like this. Yeah, look at this damage when they don't have any bonuses from fortification. Why the heck do you get a penalty for crossing a river when attacking with a ranged unit? Because I had a penalty there. That's a little bit weird, but okay. Nice one. Yeah, let's move into that fortification right there. Definitely a good plan. And that's it. We'll probably need another turn for this. We'll see. Okay, finish off the wounded guy. They are not moving forward. This went better than I expected, however. At least so far. We are just slightly out of range, but we can move closer. But I think like this whole scenario is basically about proper use of longbow, and that's how I feel about this scenario. And fortifications as well as bonuses to some extent. Like this stronghold is definitely a big deal. And now we have a double veterancy bonus. Yep, there we go. Nice. Okay then. Are we done? Is that it? I think there might be more. I'm just not seeing them because we are out of range. Continue on the next turn? Fine. Oh yeah, they have like one awkward dot right here. Well, now we can shoot him, so... Oh, and another one back here. What the heck? What do you think you're doing? He can't move up this cliff, however. I'm not sure if this is intended. Doesn't seem to be. He could have kind of attacked me from the back if he wanted to. That's strange. Hey, whatever floats his boat, maybe he just wanted to chill instead of joining the battle. I don't judge. Still in range. Yeah, this guy is not in range, however. Yep, he will attack now, which is fine. Oh, and another one. Sneaky bastard. Now the knight moved. Might be a little bit too late for you, buddy. Okay, they got four more units down there, all right. Let's go, people. So let's finish off the night. There it is. Move a bit closer with our ranged. They don't have any more range themselves, so I think they're pretty much screwed. Yep, it's not looking good for them. There might still be some surprises, however, like more elephants or something. The elephant was the strongest unit I saw, at least so far. Looks like that's it. Unless they somehow have more. Uh, yeah, they do. What the heck? Oh, over here, all right. Fine. So that was like, what, eight units total? Seems like it was a lot. I love this range, right here. <laughs> uh, yo, come on. That is still in range, is it? Or slightly outside? Okay, I think that's more than six tiles. Yep, that was seven, I think. Come on, let's finish this. 
Almost there. Eh, don't need the peasants. We are fine. Am I missing one longbowman? Nope. They're going down, buddy. The game ends in eight turns. Yeah, I don't know how many more they are going to throw at us. Victory. Right. Well, obviously. So... Another longbowman. Let's just get more longbowmen. Like, honestly, I don't think we need pikemen at this point. Yeah, let's just get more longbowmen. We can just queue up a bunch of them so that I don't have to do it every time. Alright. So, next turn. I assume the goal is to just survive. At least, that seems to be the case. As in, I don't have to recapture that city. Obviously, in a normal game, I would want to recapture it. But I got waves and waves of attackers coming every single turn. Oh, uh, yeah, I should have attacked here, so let's do that. Okay, let's go. So, same as before, no need to change anything. Let's see, I can't deploy on that fort over there. Right, at least not this time. I think this deployment looks fine. Okay, he will take it. I need to kick him out of there, and we got another elephant. Alright, I need to kick this guy out of here. Because I need that tile for myself. Let's see if we can do enough damage. I hope so. Yeah, okay, I don't know about that. That's a bit awkward. Move into the city. Is this going to be enough? With the knights, probably. Yeah, this is a great defensive tile. <laughs> And I basically gave it to him here. Oh, there's an elephant. Whoops. Okay, then. I'm not attacking with the peasants. I'm just going to, like, block the way with the peasants. This guy is ranged, but I'm just moving them in. To give them extra targets. Okay, this will be a tougher fight for sure. Yeah, two elephants. Yeah, this will definitely be a tougher fight. Yep. Probably the toughest one so far. Uh, there's a good chance I'll lose some units here. Okay, so... Let's finish off that great swordsman. I need to kick him out of that fortification, I really do. Come on. That's not enough. I might be wasting too many shots for that, but I need to kick him out of there. Preferably with ranged. So that should do the trick. Okay, now we can move in. And we'll get the bonus. So, yeah, now we can do a ton of damage ourselves. The only problem is that I will be slightly exposed with my longbowmen. Again, the elephants are ranged, but I don't want these melee units attacking my longbowmen. Let's take that shot and then attack with the knight. No, not yet. Is that enough? Still not quite enough. Well, let's attack him anyway. Then I can finish him off with another knight. That will do.
Hold on, I think I still have reinforcements here. And no. But that's what the toe means. No research, wait, what? Uh, okay, yeah, 41 turns. We are definitely researching that. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about these elephants. These guys are pretty strong. Yeah, and we will lose a long moment. Not yet. Nope, he survived. He'll probably die on the next turn. But maybe not. If we move him all the way to the back, they might not prioritize him. Yeah, we have more peasants over there. Okay. Or is that the pikemen? That's the pikemen. Right. And a pikeman. Okay, okay, fine. Let's kill his pikeman, because I don't want his pikeman attacking my knights. As you might imagine. And then try to take down one of the elephants. I can't do it on this turn. But at least we can start doing some damage. I could maybe do it if I attack with everything. Probably best to wait for the next turn. I lost a little bit too much health of, on my knights if I attack right now, so let's not do that. I will, however, move into the city. And just chill in there. Yeah, let's just chill. Wait where we are. What I need is attack them with my pikemen. One of them is backing up. I mean, that's bad for us, because he has 6 style range. And my pikemen almost got killed. We can move into the fortification, though. There we go. Let's move all the way back here. AI doesn't seem to be prioritizing wounded units in the back. They might not actually see these guys, because, you know, line of sight and such is an important part of this game. But I can't tell for sure whether they can see my guy in the back or not. He's alive, that's the important part. Now, we will win this one, but we still got six more turns after that. We can finish off the elephant. One of them, anyway. Yeah, I would still prefer to do it with ranged. But I think I'll have to finish the job with my knight. Seems that way. Well, I'm out of ranged. So... Let's finish him off. Done. Okay, and I could charge the other one. He will have a high ground if I do it like this. Yeah, and I will lose a ton of health. Let's not do that. We can charge the crossbowman instead. Much better option. There we go. 60 damage. I can almost kill the crossbowman. Yep, he's almost dead. That will finish the job. Don't want to give him a chance to shoot us. Here's another elephant. Yeah, this is fine. So let's move the long moment to the back. To decrease the likelihood of him being targeted. Focus fire on the elephant. We are well over one hour, by the way. I don't know how much longer this is going to be. But finishing this in 60 minutes would have been very challenging. If I move forward with this almost dead long moment, he will get killed. So how about we don't do that? Yeah, let's not do that. I'm keeping my current positions. They do have one more melee guy in the back. Okay, he moved back now, interesting. The battle will continue on the next turn. Works for me. Let's 
So now let's get the plus two tile range bonus. Okay, nice one. Well, I mean, still only 13 damage. But these elephants are pretty damn tough. And the O. Just the least wounded longbowman. Okay, he will be dead on the next turn, or rather the next round. Then we can take care of that pikeman. That looks like a pikeman. Yep, he's coming. Oh, yep, we died. Or rather, that one log woman died. Well, I mean, that was to be expected. I assumed I would lose some of them at some point. Frankly, I thought I lost them earlier than I did. But it's okay, only one unit died, not the end of the world. And we got the elephant, okay. This was, so far, the toughest battle for sure. Not sure how many more we'd have to do. Okay, let's kill that fella. And we're done here. The game ends in five turns. Right. We got another long moment coming on the next turn. So that's it for now. Entry. Can we get like one turn of break? Yep, we just did. So wait, I think we should stand on top of that fort right there. Stay together. Because I need to have access to this. That was kind of the whole point, you know? Any more coming or are we actually done? We might be done. So that was quite a fun scenario. I quite enjoyed that. There, we're done. I assume this is going to be the same exact video as before. Yeah, this is going to be the same exact thing as before. Okay, we killed 45 enemy units. It doesn't say how many we lost. Not many though, like two or three, I wasn't counting. I think we only lost one logbow man. A peasant or two, and that's it. But that was quite a fun scenario. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Leave a like if you did, or a dislike if you didn't. And subscribe for more humankind and other daily videos. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.